so this is a Japanese exclusive one. Big thanks to Eric the Fish Guy for selling this to me. Uh, so, this is a Japanese exclusive Rock and Douglas fur. Um, here's the box. So, Rocking Douglas fur. Yeah, see, so, strangely enough, the Japanese ones, right, they say rocking on the box, but there are ones that are sold in, like, here that have the body of a dancing Douglas fir, but they still rock. But, um, the ones that are sold around here, they say dancing Douglas fir, but the one here, this here says rocking. I don't know, I find it neat. I am the new dancing Douglas fir. Sure you are, bud, sure. 12 inches. He, he, he rocks. Rocking and dancing Christmas tree. It's basically the same as a dancing Douglas fur box. He buddy rocks. So the air conditioner just had to turn on, so I had to wait anyway. So on the back here, it's got the ordinary, let me entertain you, let me make you smile thing. Rockin' Douglas fur with sinker motion. All that good stuff. I don't... I think that's special on this one. So, and then down there, it's 1997 Jimmy Industries Corporation. It, it's basically just a dancing Douglas fir box, but with rocking Douglas fir on it. This is, um, some kind of manual. I think this is how to... This is how to take the eyes out. So that's fun. Um, there's actually, I think, another version of this. I don't know if I'm if it's the same tree in a different box or not. But there's one in a Rock and Douglas for a Junior box, and I don't know if it's different than this one or not. I mean, it looks the same, but you never know. It could have green eyes. So you know, we just never know. This thing's weird, man. I don't know, this this feels like a complete, like, overhaul of Douglas fur. The mechs... I accidentally hit the stop button. The mechs are even different, too. There's, like, a... You can see the open mechanism there. Which, in hindsight, isn't a good idea. And the eyes are one piece this time. If I can... See? Mine seems to like to get stuck. Um... So, he's got the same exact eyes as the deep voice Douglas's, and his tinsel seems to be out of the same color material. It's much more sharp, and it's much more thin than a normal Douglas fur. Um, so, if, if I can, I'll add a picture here, because I don't know how long I have until the air conditioner comes back on. I mean, we're in the middle of summer here. It, it hurts. Um, so, it's got its little hat. It doesn't have any adapter jack or anything. Um, I don't think it has a motion sensor. I may be wrong, but it has a sound sensor. And on the bottom... Winter Gather. I believe that's the importer. And then, of course, we got, you know, Jimmy Industries and stuff. My battery's in there. And off, low, and high. And these things, they don't move at all. What they do is they give him an imbalance, right? So they make him kind of imbalanced. And I believe there's, like, a weight inside of the base or something that moves around and makes the tree rock. And I think that's just kind of how it does it. So, yeah, that's that's rockin' Douglas fur. I decided to make this quick little video to get it out, hopefully for the end of Christmas of July, since I haven't celebrated it. I know Christmas in July is a real thing, but like, still, uh, why not? So here's your here's your little quimus quimus sneak peek.
Douglas fur. The 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 walking version from Japanese by the creators of Douglas Dur. Oh.